And uh, four years ago, I started Twinix uh, with the objective to develop the NFC market. So, when I went to this NFC market, what I saw? Uh, that there is a lot of uh, interest, and even today we can see there is a lot of buzz about NFC, mobile payment. You have Google, you have Amazon, RIM, uh, iPhone, everybody is talking about NFC. Uh, uh, so now everybody starts to believe again, well, now NFC phones will come. Okay, and finally, we still have a lack of applications, NFC applications, so everybody says because there are no phones, maybe there are also other reasons, but no applications, so no interest from side of consumer. Um, uh, <coughs> there is a lack of uh, multi-partners business models, uh, because how telecom operators will work with banks, we don't know yet, they don't also. <coughs> so just some features about this. Uh, we just want to think, what is interesting? If we don't use connection to the phone or if we don't uh, read external card, we are working passive mode. So even if battery is discharged, someone still can uh, go back home by, uh, by bus uh, uh, because we have still the, the standard passive payment function. So it means our sticker is normally switched off. But uh, in order to make user experience similar to the uh, phone, we put in place something that allows to switch on the sticker by default or by the contactless reader. Objective of this is that consumer will not manipulate the sticker at all. Just put it on the back of the phone, the kind of folder, and you don't touch it anymore. Uh, we integrate MIFO security so we become compatible with uh, uh, Metro in, uh, in Moscow, but not in China, in many countries. Uh, we operate uh, with now extended to a range of phones, so we have most of the G2ME phones, Android, iPhone, uh, Windows uh, 7. So we cover 90% of the, the phones. Uh, so we integrate this uh, security access module for uh, post function and we implement tag detection, tag card detection. The advantage of this is that we save power. So even if it is uh, switched on all the time, uh, you will see uh, the next slide, it will last quite a lot. And uh, the tag detection is a standard uh, NFC forum defined uh, um, model. Uh, and we have uh, we can download applications uh, using uh, global platform and uh, OT technology that we are developed uh, uh, by other companies. At the price of the sticker, we aim something between twenty and twenty five dollars in the beginning of two thousand twelve. Uh, this version of sticker is coming out uh, in uh, September. So this is the range. And our objective is to continue to work on the reduction of the thickness and of, of the price. We are coming also with a post terminal, so something that can, someone can put on the desk, a uh, merchant. It works exactly the same as the sticker, but uh, has just an additional screen. And this is a battery operated. So we take a standard battery from the phone. We have 30 days of autonomy. You can leave it on your desk. Uh, with tag detection, 30 days you don't recharge a battery. Uh, battery is recharged in two or three hours uh, by a contactless uh, reader, we provide with the, the uh, post. Uh, so, advantage is that there are no openings, uh, it can uh, work in any environment, even if it's, it, if it's raining. Uh, in, as interface, we have a small screen with two or three lines of um, uh, to this display of a numerical screen. Uh, we connect by Bluetooth to the merchant phone. So he will manipulate his phone uh, to input whatever he wants to input. There will be a special uh, in the, uh, merchant dedicated interface. But what is interesting, he is using his phone uh, and he knows his phone. Uh, when sometimes there are applications, when uh, you arrive to a conference and someone gives you a phone. I don't want somebody else's phone because I don't even know how it works. Uh, finally, security. So we have security access module for, uh, to be able to have uh, Banking certification uh, uh, for this post because I think it's important. Compatibility, my favorite papers, uh, Visa, Wave, Java card, whatever we want. Uh, there is uh, no limit. And that will produce end price something about $30 in 2012. So it is about 10 times cheaper than a post terminal. So, just as conclusion, I wanted to go fast. Uh, so, I think this uh, product can. Contributing the product in the infrastructure um, deployment because the cost is very low uh, and uh, uh, it's 
uh, it allows to uh, be very user friendly, very competitive cost, and it allows any uh, uh, application insurer to be independent from other market players. Uh, that is also important because the telecom operator bank can put in place their own payment schemes without asking permission of the other. Uh, second role is peer-to-peer -peer payment. I think it will make this product attractive to consumers uh, and will allow to start building global payment scheme because if all, all of us we have such sticker on the phone, all of us have a terminal. So finally we create a totally global infrastructure that will allow us to communicate between people and between the objects. Uh, and uh, finally, this is row three, is the merging um, card payment in the, in the phone. As I told you, I don't believe it will start with card payment in the phone. It's too complex. Today, we are not ready for that. So forget the uh, multiple card payments uh, in the phone. Start with infrastructure, actual external cards. And once there are multiple schemes in place, after things we integrate uh, <coughs> the phone. Uh, so we believe that our product can transfer 2 billion phones, which are today on the market. Um, to NFC phones with post terminal. That's it. So, спасибо.